crap, it just started hailing outside. It's nuts. Some of the pieces are pretty big. So it feels like I haven't had a chance to just hang out on the couch and just relax, um, play some video games, so I bought a new game moving out and I'm going to try it out and, and play a little bit of it today and see how it is. I know when they announced this game a while back I was excited about getting it but I never bought it so I decided to just buy it right now and see how it is so let's jump in and play some moving out. You're probably asking yourself, gee I don't know anything about moving furniture. Well, you're in luck. This training module will provide all the necessary information you need. doing my Raspberry Pi dashboard video last week, I thought it would be a great idea to take you all on a mini desk tour and show you all the different things that I have on my desk currently and what I use it for. I'm going to start this desk tour off with the most unnecessary thing that I have on my desk, which is my air purifier. I have this on here just so it's close to my face and this is, you know, the immediate air that I breathe. Uh, but if I were to add anything to my workstation that really actually needs to be here on my workstation, this would probably be the first thing to go. But for now, since I have room, may as well have it really close to my face. Uh, I've got my water bottle here, so this is a bottle I carry around everywhere. Um, just to try and make sure that I'm drinking water. It is the Kinto um, bottle, so it's pretty cool. It's well designed, it's minimalist. Um, as far as my mouse and keyboard, I am using the Magic Mouse. I haven't been able to find a replacement for this just because I like the touch surface and being able to uh, use that for scrolling. I don't know, I just really like the Magic Mouse. I haven't been able to find a good replacement. Uh, I'm using the wired Apple keyboard with the number pad on it. Um, I like how these keys feel, um, and I do have a mechanical keyboard at home, but I don't know. I've been happy with this, so I'm not going to change something that isn't broken. Uh, I've also got this like mouse pad. I used to have a big mouse pad that was like cloth that went across this entire table, but I didn't really like how it looked, and as I used it a lot since it was white, it was showing uh, some dirt on it, so decided to replace it with this, which I think looks a lot nicer. Uh, this right here is my favorite part, and it's where all the magic happens. It is my dock, which is the CalDigit TS3. Um, so pretty much everything here on the desk uh, for my computer is wired onto that. That way, when I bring my laptop here, I only have to connect one wire um, to this, and then it's immediately connected to everything here on my desk. Uh, as far as the monitor, I am using the 27-inch Apple Cinema Display. Uh, I like this monitor. The only thing I don't like about it is how glossy uh, it is, but this is a monitor that I've been using over the past five years at all of my previous jobs, and I was able to get my hands on one for 
pretty cheap, so I'm going to use it. Uh, like I said, don't try and change anything that isn't broken. Uh, you saw in my last video my Raspberry Pi dashboard with just this cat in the background. Um, next to that, I am using a Google Home. So I used to use this as my speaker, but I moved on to the Apple HomePod. But I still have this here just in case I want to ask Google some stuff. Um, it's over there. Uh, behind here, you will see my uh, laptop um, on a vertical stand. Um, it tucks away behind here and it is sitting on top of these wooden organizers uh, that I got from Muji. Uh, so in this organizer, I keep my wires and my uh, spare USB, uh, I mean spare SD cards um, and some USB bricks. Uh, if I have documents, I'd put it there, but right now I just have a couple books um, that I'm just storing there right now. We've got Gunnar Stahl's portraits and a typography book back there. Up here we've got a desktop tripod, so sometimes I'll use my nice mirrorless camera as a webcam. Um, and when I do that, I'll just put it here on this tripod and then just wire it up to my computer. Uh, and I'll be able to use a nice camera as my webcam. Of course, you've got to have some notebooks just in case you got to write things down with some of my pens that you saw up here um, on the organizer. Um, but we've got a couple notebooks here and my cell phone. So that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything that's here on my desktop, but yeah, I mean, this is stuff that I use on an everyday basis and it suits all my needs. So not much happening today, just getting a lot of work done. It thunderstormed this morning and I biked into the office, as you can see, my bike over there. Um, and I was about to leave, but it just started sun showering again. So I guess I'm gonna be stuck here for just a few more minutes just to let things dry off a bit before I get on the bike and get back home. So when I was out in Long Island, my mom had picked me up some pre-made frozen lumpia Shanghai from the Filipino store out there because I wanted to try and do this in the air fryer. So just lightly oil it up, throw it in there frozen, and let's see how it turns out. If this is great, then I could have pretty much fresh lumpia whenever I want, and I'm psyched about that. It's time to check this out. Let's see how it is. Oh, 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 that looks amazing. Wow. We got that chili sauce. Yeah. 